Good, good day, grade 11s. Today we are talking about Charles's law. So Charles's law looks at the relationship between temperature and volume when the pressure is, remain, is, is constant and also the amount of uh, gas constant. So the amount of moles and the pressure remains constant. And now we compare volume with temperature. So interesting um thing noticed and this i will illustrate by using a graph is if you do various experiments with various pressures you will see the following take place so this is the experiment the relationship between temperature from zero degrees Celsius, so this is in degrees Celsius versus the volume and this is at uh, one pressure and then you take the same scenario, keep the amount of moles the same but you do the same experiment at another pressure and then this is observed and Again, yet another pressure. This is observed. So, doing the same experiment uh, by increasing the temperature as our independent variable and looking at the volume as our dependent variable at different pressures, you will get graphs as straight lines with um, different gradients. But all of those graphs come to the exact same point um, beyond the, you know, into the negative scale of temperature and this value is minus 273,15 degrees Celsius and this value is something that we call the absolute zero now this is clearly not zero but why it is called the absolute zero is um, because this refers to zero Kelvin. So this uh, value was coined by Lord Kelvin and he identifies this as the absolute zero because theoretically this is the lowest possible temperature uh, and then from there on he set up his Kelvin temperature scale to start at zero at that point and to have the 0 degrees Celsius as 273,15 Kelvin and so on and so forth with A degrees Celsius being the same magnitude as A degree Kelvin the points of zero, the reference point is just um, different so this is what you need to understand with regards to Kelvin and degrees Celsius but enough about that, let's talk about Charles's law Okay, in order to explain Charles's law, I drew this graph. Um, very important to note that temperature has to be in Kelvin when we apply Charles's law. The volume can be in any unit as long as the units line up for the, for the volume, like it's the same, meaning for the two scenarios. So here we go. So we have a constant pressure and the amount of gas in a container and it would form a straight line because volume is directly proportional to temperature if the pressure re remains constant and the amount of gas particles um, if this is true that means that volume is equal to a constant times temperature now this constant will represent the gradient of this graph so as long as the scenario remains the same we can calculate uh, this Okay, so we've got two, so two points on this graph, V1, V2, and T1 and T2 correlating with those. Um, so over here, this will lead then uh, to it looking like this. V1 equals K times uh, T1. That means the constant is V1 divided by T1. Uh, we can do the same. Uh, for V2 equals K times T2 
So k equals v2 over t2. And these two are, the, are equal to each other because the constants are the same. That will mean that Charles's law will look like this. v1 over t1 equals v2 over t2. And this is how we will apply it in our calculations.